watching TVC News at 10. Let's now bring you more stories now as we tell you that the race for the National Assembly a leadership of the Ninth Assembly has intensified with the high wired lobbying, negotiations and horse trading ongoing. Senate correspondent Femi Akonde had an exclusive chat with Senator Ahmed Lawan, who was in the race. Attention has since shifted to the National Assembly immediately after the general election. The next political action will happen on the floor of the hallowed chambers and everyone is curious to know who becomes the presiding officer of the Ninth National Assembly. People I sat down with a high-ranking senator the who is also the, the preferred choice the of the governing All Progressives Congress for the office of the Senate President. I, I believe that in life, uh, this is one thing, experience is one thing that will drive uh, leaders at all levels of leadership and that is not restricted or limited to the National Assembly to guide uh, such leaders on how they lead the affairs of, the, uh, of their organizations. Federal lawmakers have most times been in the news for the wrong reasons. They are perceived to enjoy lavish remunerations and entitlements at the expense of an impoverished citizenry. There is also a swelling advocacy calling for openness and accountability from lawmakers. If Ahmed Lawan becomes Senate president, he will also be put under pressure to open up the National Assembly. I believe the Nigerians will see uh, a NAS that is improving on all those areas that the public accuses uh, NAS of uh, shrouded um, allowances or salaries and what have you. But my take is I want a national assembly that will work for Nigeria. I want a national assembly that Nigerians will also participate in the, in the matters of legislations practically. And uh, that will make us, uh, I think, a better uh, legislature. Senator Ahmed Lawan is also concerned about the rate at which bills passed by the national assembly were rejected by Mr. President citing drafting issues, conflicting and duplication of duties of existing government agencies. Before a bill is listed in the first place for first reading, let it go through all the scrutiny that is possible to ensure that that bill is not a rep a replicating the function that another bill is already, uh, another act that an act exists for. Data provided by the Independent National Electoral Commission shows that the All Progressives Congress has majority in the Senate with 62 elected members, while the Opposition People's Democratic Party has 37 elected members. Senators will vote to choose their leaders, and whoever gets the support of a simple majority will emerge as presiding officer of the Ninth Senate. Femi Akonde. TVC News, Abuja.